Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Craft the World. So we got a couple of things to accomplish today. First, I'd like to go ahead and get our cooking going and I got our cooking stand right there so we'll get one of those dwarves on that and he'll place that. And we can make some lovely meals and I want to get to the advanced forge as well. And lastly, we finally have a name for our little Dwarven Empire here, Dwarven Kingdom, and uh, this is brought to you by Catherine McWinnie. Thank you so much for giving us that suggestion. Uh, I really did like, uh, what was it, Dorfy McDorface or something like that. Probably not going to go with that one. I did like Kingdom of Earthbringer. So this is our Kingdom of Earthbringer clan, and they will continue to mine and do what we need to do to make it successful as possible. Actually cancel all that out. Now let's go ahead and craft our dwarves uh, some nice meals. We could do fried eggs, we could do grilled meat, mixed green salad, and nuts and berry salad. So let's go ahead and make uh, healing 2%, feeding 1%. Let's go ahead and make 10 of each. Um, JK, let's um, 3, 6, 9, we'll make 9 of those. And let's go ahead and make, um, we'll make a solid 10 of those. And cooking's almost there, so let's just go ahead and we'll make that. So that looks like that got cooking all the way. The doors will get on top of that. And while they are working on that, we need to go ahead and build ourselves this advanced forge. And we'll drop that right there. And where do we want to put that? Uh, let's go right unable to build a forge here probably because it's too big so let's do let's just go ahead and mine this space out here um cancel that out let's mine it out here just make this too deep through here and they'll get on that and then we'll put our forge right here and then let's do a little ladder there for them make that a little easier for everyone to climb up and down yeah, they'll mine that out for us. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. It looks like we got some food being made. Yep, they're crafting that food for us. Fantastic. Let's see, today is December 20th, so happy holidays to everyone, whether you're celebrating uh, whatever holiday you want to celebrate. Hopefully you're having a good time, you're at home, relaxing, resting, whatever you need to do to recoup and get ready for 2022. I know I'm enjoying this. Uh, I got a little bit of time off this week and a little bit of time off next week so i'm excited to do that all right it looks like we got that advanced forge ready to go let's check out our tech tree so we can make an iron pickaxe iron axe the improved portal um smithing apron and climbing shoes we need to do that cooking's well on its way and we still got a little bit in advanced wood processing planks buckets we can make a handsaw research library or a feather let's go ahead and craft that research library let's go into craft here need a wooden table a feather ink and wooden chair and i don't know if, if we know how to make all that we can do the feather i don't know if we know how to make ink yet let's check this screen i don't think we do okay so we won't be doing that but let's go ahead and make some more planks and we'll craft three and all right looks like that should get us over there and we'll get them on that all right so we'll get our advanced woodworking up. And then what do we want to do in advanced iron making? Probably picks. So yeah, let's go ahead and craft some picks for our dwarves. And let's see, iron picks. We need two pieces of iron and three wood. So can we make 10? We got, what, eight? Yeah, let's go ahead and do 10. And that's going to get us most of the way there. That's good. And then let's see, we could do a smithing apron. We could do some climbing shoes, which we need rope for. Let's see, do we got enough for rope? No, we don't. Okay, so we won't be doing that. What about just some iron axes? Yeah, let's just go ahead and make 10 iron axes, and that's gonna get us over after they finish that. But that probably depletes a lot of our iron, so let's um, let's keep going this way. We're gonna get some iron over here, and looks like we got some coal as well. Keep these dwarves nice and busy, so while they're working that way, uh, looks like we got a couple standing around. So let's go ahead and have them keep uh, delving deeper here. We'll go two, three, four. All right, great. We got that up and five. Get them down a little further here because eventually we'll need to make our way down there. While that food's getting ready, let's go ahead and put some out. We got that and then we'll do that there. And then let's just go ahead and put some of that out for them. Great. We got the cooking done as well and some of the mixed greens out for them there as well overall our comforts okay 45 percent all right let's go check out the tech tree since we seem to be getting a lot done 
All right, we got that done. Woodworking's almost done. Advanced ironworking is almost done. So it looks like we'll get basic processing, basic weaponry, and advanced, a lot of advanced stuff here as well. Ooh, a new roof, some scaffolding. All right, let's go ahead and get back going there. All right, making those planks, getting those pickaxes. Good job, Kingdom of Earthbringers. Yep, we got another thing completed. Looks like we got some stuff out here. We can go ahead and chop down, get them working on that. How are we doing over here? We probably need a torch over here so we can see. One, two, three. Just put that, oops, let's put that there. Close that one out. Get rid of him. And then let's go ahead and do something like that. Start getting some of that coal and some of that iron for this kingdom. As she charges right in there and starts beating the snail over its head, that's okay. Looks like we got a, quite a bit of stuff over here and maybe a cavern or something we can dig our way into. Excited to see what we get over there. All right, they got this shaft down. Looks like we need to add some more ladders in there. Ooh, we got some spiders or something jumping over there. That's not good. All right, let's go ahead and craft some more ladders. And we'll just make, uh, yeah, we'll make like 50 ladders. Could never have too many ladders. All right, he's, or she's chopping that tree down. Looks like she needs an ax. Let's go ahead and go into equipped here. Looks like we're getting some iron axes made. So let's um, equip those iron axes uh, and we'll do that. And then do we have some, we do have an iron pickaxe. So let's just go ahead and put the iron pickaxe there. Damage 17 on the skeleton sword. Do we have anything better for them? No, we don't. Okay, so we'll let them get going here again. Let's turn that speed up just a little bit more. Keep this thing moving right along. All right, more pickaxes being made. Got some more resources coming out of here. Let's go ahead and put some dirt in there, fantastic. And then we'll mine out that. I don't know if we'll be able to reach those. We might have to put a ladder in there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put a ladder in there so they can get to it. And we'll have to keep mining that way. All right, we got a little water building up down there. Let's go ahead and get our ladder down in there. All right, and we'll have to do something about that rain. Let's go ahead and shut that hatch. There we go. All right, there, no more rain falling down into our, our tunnel system here. And we seem to be doing every other, so we'll keep with that. Actually, let's just go ahead and do that and we'll end it like that, perfect. All right, and then we'll put some torches in. Torches, torches, all that water falling down the mining shaft. We'll put another ladder in to make sure the Kingdom of Earthbringers are doing well. And looks like they are, they got all that. So we'll go ahead and mine that out. And then we can take that, actually no, let's leave that ladder up. And just because we wanna make everything look nice and neat, we'll put some dirt in there. So it's not uh, just empty holes and caverns for whatever to grow in or spawn in. Um, oops, we got some friends coming. Let's switch over to combat. They're knocking on that door and we need our friends or our dwarf dwarves to kill all those zombies and it looks like they're gonna do a pretty good job and down go the zombies so we can flip back over looks like uh, this dwarf uh, who is this Elena needs to go ahead and do some resting here because she got beat up and oh now we got some skeletons over here so let's switch back all the way over to combat we got seven minutes till the next big monster wave comes so hopefully we're prepared for that knock out all those skeletons beautiful back to collecting and balanced work for our dwarves so maybe we should make some maces too, because I think I saw maces on the list of things that could be crafted. Let's go back into dwarves here, um, or crafting here. Maybe not, oh, because we probably haven't unlocked um, basic weaponry, we need to finish advanced iron working first. That's where we saw the club, the steel club from. All right, so we're just waiting on the advanced iron working to finish up. Oops, looks like we got some rats spawning. Let's take care of these rats before they can uh, do a lot of damage here. All right, there we go. Go ahead and crush all those rats. And then we gotta crush this pile of food because that is where all those rats were spawning from. And it looks like we're gonna crush it. Beautiful, get some wheat there. And we'll use that later. All right, she's still taking a nice snooze. Let's see, we got some more stuff to get over here. Start taking all these resources out. Beautiful, yep, you can go ahead and, oh, I thought he's gonna get the snail, oh, that guy did. All right, great. So get that iron out of the wall and we'll get the coal out of the wall as well. 
and put some dirt back in. Been enjoying the game so far. Uh, it's a it's a different type of game than what I normally play. Like I said in the first episode, I think I bought this back in like 2014, 15, something early when it first came out, before all the DLCs came out. And now I'm getting back into it by request, and uh, I'm glad I have. It's it's uh, entertaining, it's exciting. I don't know what I just clicked out of, but that's okay. We can figure that out. I'm assuming that's advanced ironworking. Yep, okay, so now we can do basic weaponry and basic processing. So let's go ahead, and I want to make some maces here. 20 damage, yeah. Uh, we need one iron and two wood, so let's go ahead and put 10 maces on the block for the iron worker to build, and he'll get to that. Let's go ahead and select this guy, and I want to go to equip for him. Clara, warrior. Um, we probably should give the her a, let's see if we can give her a blacksmith apron. Let's go, where was blacksmith apron at? Here it is. All right, um, leather and iron ore. All right, let's see if she makes that, and then we can equip her, and I think that improves her iron working skill. Maybe, I'm not, not quite sure. We'll find out here in a second. So let's go ahead and mine all that iron ore out. And then it'll be kind of working this way, again, into this cavern. And we got some more iron ore down there. And we can go ahead and get rid of that, and that, and that, and that there. How are we doing down here? Okay, so this thing right here, this little uh, capsule, I think will eventually spawn something. And it'll start eating dirt and resources. So what we probably should do is drop down and get right to it and kill it. And actually, let's just go ahead and do that while I'm thinking of it. Do that, and we'll do that, and then kill that before it can do any damage. And then probably break into this cavern here and clean out some of these piranha plants and whatever these spiders are. And claim that as our own territory. Let's go ahead and drop that down. Put some more torches in. And then we actually need to craft some more torches. So let's go here. Is it in this screen? Where are the torches at? Here we go. Uh, I will take 200 torches, please. That's quite a few torches. Um, but we'll take it because we'll use those torches. All right. And drop another ladder right there. Perfect. They can go ahead and put those other two ladders in. He hasn't quite spawned yet. Uh, I don't know what we're getting out of this dirt here. Let's see if it does another one. All right, yeah, we need to get to this guy because he just spawned. So go ahead and knock that last piece of dirt out of the way. And then we'll clean up, there we go, whatever this creepy crawly is, just so he's not, there we go, not destroying resources for us. And we don't need to mine that out. All right, and level nine, we got some needle crystals, three eyes, and another dwarf. Um, and a new hero available, population growth plus one. So we need to get another bed in place as well. So let's go ahead and go to craft. And we'll go to furniture, which we already have one bed. So let's go ahead and put that. Uh, I don't need that out anymore. Let's put this additional bed right right there. Sure, that looks good right there. All right, no more water going down the hatch. Fantastic. Don't have to worry about the bottom of our mine shaft flooding. Now, I'm thinking maybe we just go do, 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 and open this up and take these spiders out or whatever these jumping creatures of death are. But we've got about 45 seconds until our next wave attack. So let's go ahead and go to equipped here and make sure everyone's ready to go. Geralt, you are our next dwarf, so you're going to get the stone axe. Um, actually, no, we'll give you an iron axe. And then let's give you an iron pickaxe. And I guess um, you're a stonemason, so we'll just go ahead and give you the skeleton saber. All right, and then iron axe for Sana. She's already got an iron pickaxe, iron axe. Stone pickaxe, let's go ahead and upgrade that. With a goblin spare, you're doing good, Daver. All right, Fubar is, uh, needs some help. So he's got a wood club, so let's go ahead and make that a steel club. And we'll give him the iron axe, and then let's go ahead and get him iron pickaxe. And he is kitted out and ready to go for this next wave. So iron axe, steel or iron pickaxe, and then um, club of 15. So let's go ahead and upgrade that club to a steel club. Okay, can you see how repetitive this is getting? Iron axe, iron pickaxe, and we can't upgrade the weapon yet, um, but we can go ahead and give you an iron axe and an iron pickaxe for Elena. Lisbeth gets an iron axe and an iron pickaxe, and Nain, all right, iron axe and iron pickaxe. So once those metal clubs get ready, we'll upgrade those. So let's go ahead and switch everyone to attack. 
and bring everyone into the shelter and get ready for this wave here in 20 seconds. Let's see what happens and see where this portal spawns. Looks like some works primitive. Okay, great. All right, monster portal open, and they're going to be coming from this way. Ooh, there's a lot of trees here. So we'll have to be protecting ourselves over here. All that water absorbing. All right, and here it comes. I see some, I don't know, flying goblin things. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get going here. Gonna be a, see a skeleton archer or something back there too. Some of our guys are taking some damage. Hopefully, we're looks like we're killing some of their guys. That's what we need to do. All right, more and more people falling. We'll have to turn off the inside only. Let's go ahead and let them out. All right, I don't know what that is, but things scary. Yep, take out that archer. Oops, he hit us back pretty hard. Took out that archer. We're taking out another zombie here. This guy's got one health left. Let's get rid of him. And down he goes. Fantastic. Let's attack some of these other guys here. Looks like we got a few more skeletons working their way towards our Kingdom of Earthbringer settlement. But the dwarves survive. No issue there. Let's check the other door. One little zombie. All right, we'll take care of him. And then good job, dwarves. Fantastic job. Surviving another day. All right, so let's go ahead and switch on over back to balance. Hopefully everyone rests up that needs to rest up. We'll do some bandigs here in a second. They can collect what they need to collect. Uh, let's um, let's clean all this up here. A little easier to see. Oop, I don't know what this is. Something just spawned up here. Um, it's going to take us a little bit to get up there, but okay. So we'll work our way towards that. Uh, another skeleton coming up here to say hi, and we will get rid of him. All right, yep, let's cut all these trees and bushes down. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Good job. It's another 48 minutes until the next wave comes. Looks like some people taking a snooze, resting up. Some people got some food. And hopefully we'll have all these iron axes, or excuse me, iron maces done so we can protect ourselves a little bit more. Looks like we unlocked the swimmer's book. We'll go ahead and collect that. Go ahead and mine that out, and then one, two, three, put that there, one, two, three. So eventually we'll need to mine out one more and we'll put a torch there. All right, and then let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll leave this part open, I guess. That's okay. We'll fill in these back walls though. Do, do, and then let's put another torch there. Fantastic, and then we can mine all that coal out because we will need that coal. Ooh, this got filled with those piranha plants. We'll clear that out and we'll put some torches in here. And I think our next thing will be to go ahead and open up this spider's den and see what we can do. All right, looks like they're getting all that coal out of there. Fantastic. We'll mine that out as well. All right, they're cleaning out the piranha. So we'll do that. One, two, three, and put one there. And then into the spider's den we shall go. All right, Pandora's box. Yep, I know we'll need to get to that eventually. New hero available. We don't have enough coin to unlock anything yet. We got nine. We could get some supplies. Nothing really turning me on there. So I think we'll leave it for now. Yeah, because eventually it'd be cool to get like uh, a paladin, Barry Tinkerton, some of these things, upgraded portal gates. So we're almost there. We got nine coins. We'll just need to find one more and we'll be able to do that. All right, he's grabbing that. We'll put some dirt there. I think we're ready to open this up. Um, so this might be a mistake. And it, Let's go ahead and get these guys doing some combat here. Uh, he only has a wooden club, so let's... Uh, who's got a wooden club? Yep, we're going to switch out that for an iron mace. Iron mace. Iron mace. And an iron mace. Okay, I think we're good there. There you go. That looks a lot better than trying to do all that damage with just uh, a wooden club. All right, and eventually we'll need to knock out this spawner here. Why can't I click on it? Yeah, let's get some more people down here because he's getting low on hearts. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here, dude. Okay, there we go. And we took all those spiders out and we'll clean up that mess. All right, let's see what our new task is because it keeps telling me we got a new task. Um, farming, basic processing, basic weaponry, mana, collect sand. Well, we're going to collect a lot of sand here in a second. All right. Good for us. Um, let's go ahead and mine that out so I'm not climbing over that consistently. Or constantly, excuse me. There we go. Another sand collected for the mission, for the level. 
And I guess let's just um, just go like that a couple spaces so we can get some more sand. And then probably this way into the cavern and we'll start cleaning up all these piranha um, plants. I don't know if that's their actual name, but that's what I'm going to call them because they look like piranhas and they're plants. And we will take care of those. I think we're getting a lot of dirt but not a lot of sand. All right, let's go ahead and drop some torches there. All right, that's good, that's good. We'll go ahead and clean that up. Get rid of some of that there. And then let's just put a torch like right there. Get some sand there. There we go, good job guys. Uh, whatever that is, that looks scary. We don't wanna fight that yet, do we? Probably not. All right, how are we doing up here? All right, we got all that. So probably, hmm, how do we wanna to get to these next resources? I'm guessing just kind of start mining this way. I don't know if this is the best plan where you just do level by level or do we just kind of follow the resources and go up and down that way. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if that what's the, the best way to gather resources. If it's to go up and down or go out like this. I, I, I honestly don't know. I'm thinking we'll just go down um, and then just put a ladder here. And let's go ahead and reclaim that ladder for later use. Getting dark out. That's okay. Looks like Elena's still resting up. How are we doing on our tech? About halfway through basic weaponry processing. We need to do some clay or glass or some bottles or something. Ink. Oh, there's ink. So we can do that research bench here soon. Basic processing book. All right. So let's see what we need for ink. So let's hop over to crafting here. And ink, we need coal, resin, water, and a bottle. Okay. So what do we need for a bottle? We need glass. And glass, we need sand and coal. And that is just basic processing. Uh, I don't know where it's processed at, but let's go ahead and make like, yeah, we'll make 24 sand and it made a small dent in that. We'll need to collect some more sand here. Um, okay, so let's go, I think this will all give us sand. So let's collect all this, be some good sand and we can finish up that quest as well or that task. All right, so let's see, yeah, okay, that's dropping sand, good. Let's get all that sand there. Get all that sand and get all that sand. It looks like we're going to hit some more resources. Uh, we are under attack. Oh, no. All right. We got one big guy coming. Cool. We collected our sand. Yay us. I don't know why it gave us a wooden club. We don't want wooden clubs. We're on iron maces now. We're not that weak. The kingdom of Earthbringers would never use a wooden mace. Looks like someone's getting pretty weak here. All right. Don't get hurt, dude. Get out of there. Yeah, there you go. All right. Knock out all those skeletons. Fantastic. Once again, the kingdom of Earthbrinkers on top of it. Might not hurt to do another advanced forge here, maybe? Maybe mine this out so we can get a third one there? I don't know. Or maybe we mine out over over here and put it. We'll have to see how we doing down here. We got a book we can grab. We'll take the miner's book. Um, let's just go ahead and get all the sand and we'll put dirt in there. And then looks like we worked our way into that cavern. So we're just chugging right along. Go Kingdom of Earthbringers. I don't know why these chickens are living with us. Let's just go ahead and check out the dwarves and let's uh, heal them up here if we need to. Go ahead and use that, use that. Get Geralt here or Geralt here healed up. Sana's doing good. We'll go ahead and heal her up a little bit. Uh, Daver definitely needs some healing up. All right, and then let's also make sure, let's see, who's our smith? Was that stonemason, carpenter, warrior, swimmer, hunter, mage? Okay, we don't really have actual smith. I think anyone, yeah, so anyone who wants to smith is smithing right now. Do we have a smithing book? All right, so who do we want? He's our stonemason, so we probably don't want him doing that. We got a carpenter. We'll leave him as the carpenter, warrior. All right, so it looks like Clara is going to be our smith, so we're going to go ahead and use smithing book and give her some skill there and then we're going to go ahead and give her the smithing apron let's just see what this does increase and efficiency of smithing skill okay great so she'll go ahead and do that for us and we got all this stuff to clear out again keep this nice and clean so when we have our battles it's easier for well at least me to see don't need to be messing around with all that and look at all that lumber and trees and resin and all that falling down and we'll collect that up nice here and be able to use that for our benefit. All right, well, ooh, we got a rat's nest. Let's get rid of that rat's nest and some of these rats as well. This dirty, dirty place uh, where we got 43%. All right. Um, 
Good. We're knocking that rat's nest out. Attack away, boys. Get some of that wheat back. We don't want those rats stealing that wheat from us. How dare they? I think that's a pretty good place to end. Thank you guys for coming out and enjoying Craft the World with me. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it down below. Comment on what you think the Kingdom of Earthbringers should do next. We were able to tackle cooking and advanced forging. A pretty good day for them. No one died. We survived a, a pretty big wave. Happy about that. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for coming out today, and we'll see you in the next video.